Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we're finally getting to the end of today's massive onslaught of Rainbow High news. We're going to be talking about the Rainbow High costume ball, uh, Rainbow High Rainbow Vision costume ball, Rainbow High characters. In the last video, we took a look at the uh, Rainbow Vision Rainbow Vision costume ball shadow high characters. Uh, and this video is just all about Violet, Robin, and Bella. So let's get into it. Here we are on Walmart.com where, uh, where they are listed. Uh, they are for pre-order by the way, so you can't really buy them right away. Uh, they are only releasing in October, so it is a while to wait. So first up here we have Bella. Let's go to her first because, you know, no shocker, she is everyone's favorite. Uh, I love her. She is stunning. Uh, I will put the image here because it's really narrow here in the actual website. So she is just, I didn't, I could have never imagined that this is what she would have looked like as the witch. Um, I also was never really sure if she was going to be the witch. You know what I mean? Like I was never really 100% sure that was going to be her, but it is. Um, and she, yeah, I love her makeup. I feel like her makeup is so on point. I love the cat eye, the 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 lips, the, the matte lipstick. Like, are you kidding me? Um, I'm also, I don't know why, but I'm convinced they're using a new face mold for, for Bella and for Violet as well. And Robin too, because they look different. The, the face molds look different, like the eyes or the lips. Something's different. So they've definitely changed something or updated it a little bit better. Um, so her outfit's just also really cute. Uh, I think it might be like a one-piece dress, but look at all that detail. It has tons of layers, frills, um, bows, pearling detailing, and then even, it even looks like spiders, the, how the, the way they knit it, the, the way they sewed it. Uh, around the pearls that is so iconic she has some frills on the shoulders some long sleeves with some uh something glued on as well like some some glitter or pearls um she has a pearl necklace on pearl earrings she has a witch hat in fabric it is stunning it has a silver uh rh detail on the front and uh, again, I'm not sure if this is like a one-piece dress or if that's like a skirt and a top. Uh, I do think it's probably like a one-piece, but it looks so cute. Um, I do. I don't know if I really like the frill at the, at the on the front, the way it goes up. I'm not sure if I love that, but I, I love everything else. I can I can forgive it. Uh, her hair is just kind of wavy, uh, and uh, and it does have it does have tinsel, so beware. Um, and her shoes are really simple heels and she has some socks on as well so that's her main outfit and then here she is in her box um, here on the little text it says Bella Parker always has the most spell binding spell binding looks she's got some tricks up her up her witchy sleeves to make sure her school takes center stage at the rainbow vision costume ball that is so cute um she's definitely giving me glinda the good witch vibes from wizard of oz uh she's just so precious i love her um i hate this because i don't want to collect multiple uh characters outside of their original release but she looks so stunning i might just have to get her uh make an exception for her <laughs> so i love her love her love her and then here on the last picture it's a picture of her artwork and it looks stunning as well i do feel like the artwork is a little bit cheating because look at those sleeves the sleeves and all that detailing with the pearl and stuff that's obviously not how it actually looks like but it looks so detailed and I do love the spider detailing at the front. And then I just, it looks so creepy. And it's, it's just so fun. <laughs> she looks so cool. Um, and then here, the last picture is all of the girls together. So moving on, we're gonna be taking a look at who's next. Here is Robin. Let's take a look at Robin next. So here she is. And she's obviously like her famous spider uh spider queen i guess okay uh yeah of course she has a crown on yeah a silver crown on 
Her hairstyle is like in twists, like little twists, uh, three on each side, I think, or maybe even more. Um, her makeup's also very stunning. I love the makeup on these dolls. Her lipstick is a matte brown, love that. Again, I'm convinced they have a, they've updated the original mold because she looks a little bit, a little bit different here. Um, her outfit is very like the top part I'm obsessed with. And then when I see it's like a, um, it's like a mermaid tail, like a mermaid silhouette. I'm kind of like, oh no, why did I get why they did it. It's obviously to, to imitate like spider web, you know? Um, but I feel like, did they have to give it like such a huge mermaid tail? Um, Cause I feel like it could have looked even better without, you know what I mean? Um, but okay, fine. <laughs> Maybe if it would have just been like a, a train on the back and it would have been just like a tight dress otherwise, I feel like that would have been really cute. But it just being like a mermaid uh, tail silhouette, mermaid gown, I don't, I'm not living for it, especially because we've seen so oft, we've seen the silhouette used so often for Rainbow High Dolls uh, recently. Um, but she overall, it's like a, um, it's overall like a mesh white fabric over a uh, like light blue uh, top and skirt since it is see-through, you know? And then on that white mesh, there's a lot of stitching to uh, make it look like webs. And once again, there's also spiders with pearls and then uh, stitch around it to make it look like spider legs. Love that, very creepy. And her shoes look like heels, but I can't really tell. And yeah, she's overall very pretty, but definitely um, also her makeup. Yeah, the spiderweb makeup, so cute. But she's overall like not my favorite. Um, I do like how it's connected the top to the bottom. It has like a little ring on the midriff. Very nice. And her earrings do look like uh, spiders dangling. <laughs> I don't like spiders if you couldn't tell already. So it's very creepy cute, but uh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and she has longer nails. I love that as well. And then moving on to our next picture, here she is in a box. I do like how she looks here in the box, but again, if she was, if she, if she had a train at the bottom, I think I would have preferred that much more. And then her little bio says, Robin Sterling needs no excuse for a photo op. She's been planning her glamorous costume and dramatic entrance to the Rainbow Vision costume ball for months. So there is Robin in her box and then here's the artwork. And wow, again, I love the artwork. Looks very creepy cool. And that's Robin. Yeah, next up. And lastly, we're gonna be taking a look at uh, Violet Willow. <laughs> now, I'm sad to say that with Violet, every release has always been kind of like a flop and not really in a bad way, she's just never really stood out in the best way possible. Uh, so she is obviously the kitty cat theme. And there she is. Like, I definitely love her mask. I love her mask. The mask, if you look at it up close, you can really tell they took inspiration from Michelle Pfeiffer's depiction of Catwoman in Batman Returns, I believe, because um, of the stitching detailing on the mask and the way it's shaped. I definitely love that inspiration. Uh, and I, I can also see a lot of inspiration taken on her outfit. It reminds me heavily of Halle Berry's uh, depiction of Catwoman in her movie uh, called Catwoman that many people don't like. <laughs> I think it's iconic. But um, it's overall a dress, kind of like a pleathery material, has a belt stitched on, a buckle in silver on the front. Um, not much detail on the actual dress, sad to say, but she does have some gloves on, yay. And she also has a fur stole, stole, fur stole on. That's, I guess, cute. I do feel like she's missing something. You know, like, I feel like she needs something else to make her outfit pop. Um, like accessories, like where is her jewelry? Where is her choker? Where are her bracelets? Where is her necklace? Where is her hair accessory? Like she's missing stuff. You know what I mean? Like she looks like she's missing stuff. Um, her boots are really nice though. Again, more stitching detailing. They're fabric boots. I do love those. And her hair, I didn't mention this, but her hair is just in a ponytail, really simple. And once again, I am heavily convinced that she has a new updated face mold because her lips and her eyes look way different. So unless it's really just good makeup, 
it has to be updated a little bit at least uh so yeah i do like violet but she's just very bland compared to bella and robin i just wish she had um i don't know every time again every time we get a violet i always feel like she's underwhelming and i'm very i, I feel very bad for her <laughs> here she is in her box really pretty and then here on the text it says violet willow is no stranger to juicy gossip it's like her catnip she just can't stay away she's sure her next big story will come from the rainbow vision costume ball so there we go and then here is her artwork and her artwork is so pretty definitely a shame that she doesn't look like that um i just don't know what went wrong what i don't know what went wrong like translation wise like why uh, anyways i don't know so overall i would say my ranking if i had to rank them would go like this uh first of course bella and then secondly shockingly enough i i think i would go with violet actually for second uh ranking and then leastly i would rank uh robin uh lastly i would rank I'm tired, y'all. My voice is... I'm losing my voice right now. I've been making videos the whole day. <laughs> but um, you know what I mean. Uh, first, Bella. Secondly, Violet. Thirdly, and lastly is Robin. Um, I don't know why Violet, even though I, I just completely, you know, I... I, Right? I told... I just said that Violet was just kind of boring. Even then, I feel like for her, less is more. In a weird way with robin i feel like there's just too much too much train too much not train but just too much uh of a of like a uh of a mermaid emphasis on the gown you know and i don't like that um i also don't like her hairstyle why did i put it in braids i like i mean okay like that's fun but like i feel like a bun or like like maybe some textured hair would have been really nice like in the afro like come on that would have been so awesome but no, just like some twists. Okay, I feel like that was boring too. For Violet, I get it. It's a ponytail. It's also boring. But like at least it makes more sense, you know? It's supposed to be sleek. It's supposed to be like simple because <laughs> she's 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 a cat, kitty cat inspired. It's a theme, you know? So I don't know. Anyways, um, overall, I would say I'm, I'm kind of impressed with this line costume ball and uh, definitely kind of wait to get them. Uh, at least the new characters. I don't know if I'll get Bella. I do want to get Bella, but I don't know if it's a thing about money. I don't know if I'll have enough money. <laughs> but yeah, that brings us to the end of the overall Rainbow High news marathon that we had today. A bunch of R Rainbow High pictures and just a bunch of reveals happened today. So that brings us to the end to the conclusion of all that rainbow high news uh this is for i hope it's okay i made four videos y'all i had to i had to because if not i would have spent an hour talking and i'm i'm dying like i need to eat i need to sleep i need to like not speak for like 10 hours <laughs> um so anyways i at, at, i at least i hope y'all enjoyed this if you did as always you know that drill hit the thumbs up uh comment down below what you thought let me know who's your favorite and as always subscribe hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when i post more rainbow high doll news doll reviews episode reaction videos a bunch more content coming your, coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the doll tea you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses <laughs>